I um basically you guys CJ is not with me right now. CJ went with his dad. So a lot of people are very surprised that Queen Nija is letting CJ see Chris all of a sudden because for a while she wasn't letting CJ fly to Houston and all of a sudden she is. Today we're gonna explain everything that happened, what's going on. So let's get straight into the drama. Now you guys know there was a lot of drama with Chris L, CPS. Uh him not taking care of CJ during a pandemic, going in spas, people's places, having parties at his house, and Queen Nigel finally got a hold of CJ after the CPS incident, and to me it looked like she was very worried about CJ's safety and didn't want CJ to go over to Houston at that time until she felt it was safe. And to me, Chris didn't want it like that. Chris Sells wanted CJ to come to Houston. He didn't even check in with his PO officer, which has been proven in these receipts. Not only that, in his video, he never clears it up and says, hey guys, checked my PO and he said that I can't go to Atlanta to see my son. He just says I can't, which tells me he never did in the first place. After that incident, he ended up making a video, I believe this was in July, and he actually spoke to a lawyer. Hang on a second. Now, if you don't remember, I said he should go check his lawyer instead of putting the drama on the internet because him himself says he shouldn't put family problems on the internet, but he does it anyway. Now, according to the law, according to Chris, Queen Nigel cannot just hold CJ. From the sounds of it, she has to give CJ to Chris. I was supposed to have my son in July. I just found that out. My lawyer came and read the paper over. I told her that I had text messages. I swear to, I, I put this on everything I love. I told her, I said, hey, you know, I supposed to have my son in July. It states it right here. I sent her a screenshot. I sent the to her. Next. Apparently, according to Chris Sells, when he told her about this, from the sounds of it, she sounds like she was trying to make it difficult for him to get CJ. She said she won't. Okay, so since I found that out, she said, okay, well, you come get him. She know I can't leave the state, or she knows it's hard for me to leave the state right now. So I said, no, I will have my sister go pick him up. She said, no. She said, no. <coughs> she said, I want your sister to go pick him up. I want you to go pick up. That's the least you can do, and I have every right to say that. That's exactly what she said. So then I said, in the paper that the judge has signed, it says, I can have any adult pick my child up and drop him back off. It do not have to be me nor her. She don't She don't even have to, because she don't even send Chris here. She don't even fly out with him or she have her role manager do it. So why is a double standard since it's my turn to have my son, I have to go pick him up. I never ever in life told her she had to go drop him. So like what? Like I don't, I don't care enough for her. Like I just want my son. Anyway, Chris ended up buying a ticket for his sister, showing Queen that he was going to get his sister to get C. DJ and Queen said, according to Chris, yeah, No, you're not getting them. You gonna have to just see me in court, and that hurt me to my core. Like, I, I, I don't, I have a hard time expressing myself, but that just hurt me. Like that hurt me so deep because I never thought that she would ever do that, no matter what. Like I never thought she would try to do that, you know. So she said, "No, like, you can't have it." It takes me not too long ago. I admit that. I mean, apparently, a couple of days or weeks later, I'm not too sure. Queen Nigel basically end up messaging Chris, telling him to come to Atlanta to see CJ. She texted me and she was like, "Uh, well, how about can you come out here to Atlanta to see?" Because I said, no, Queen, it's not right. I have to go out there for two or three days. If I do get allowed to go out there, I have to go out there for two or three days and then come right back. And I'm only getting to see him for like two or three days. It's not right because I have every right to have my son here, you know? And then she talks about the corona. It doesn't make sense, to be honest, because even if I fly out there to just go see him, it's a possibility that I can catch corona. It's a possibility that she can catch corona. She's out, she's a filming, she's doing music, she's at the studio, she's doing this, she's doing that. Oh, she can catch corona and give it to baby Chris. So it's really no excuse as to why he can't come out here. As long as he's wearing a mask, gloves on, whatever the case may be, it's okay for him to fly out. Now I understand, now if Queen did bring that up, I completely understand why she would be concerned about that because again, Chris wasn't taking responsibility during a pandemic. Even his grandmama agreed with him. <laughs> But the thing is, the Queen is so concerned about CJ and concerned about CJ being in the hands of Chris because Chris is not being responsible enough, then she should take him to court. After Chris Sells made that video, it doesn't look like Queen Nigel said anything on Twitter. Nothing to debunk what Chris said. So to me, it kind of screams guilty, like you probably most likely 
did say those things to Chris. But anyway, Chris ends up making another video, basically making you feel sorry for him. I haven't spoken to my son in about four months. I haven't even spoken to him on FaceTime. Damn, well, why don't you just ring him? And I miss him so freaking much. I know I'm not, I'm not, I'm, y'all probably don't care anymore. <laughs> that is correct. I was just, that's just how I felt. And I was just it's, um, expressing myself, but yeah, I miss my baby so much. And I really don't know what to do anymore. You know, as far as, well, until, you know, what you can do. Court and all that stuff. It's a joke. But I'm like, disgusting. I'm talking like, until then, like, what do I do? Like, without my son, you know? I've been here, like, like I don't even know, man. I just, I feel like giving up. So many times I feel like giving up, you know? Um, having all type of crazy thoughts. Oh my God! Chris Sells was being extra dramatic, basically talking about how he felt like giving up. Now remember, Queen said that Chris, he was going to let CJ see Chris. She felt just not at that moment because she's scared of what could happen to CJ. But from the sounds of it, it sounds like Chris thinks that Queen is legit trying to pull CJ away from him, which is leading him to all these extra thoughts, in my opinion. I really don't think it's fair. I really don't. I don't care what anybody have done in their life. Every man, sh we should all forgive everybody. No matter if you did something towards a certain individual, you know, like God I don't deserve God's mercy, but He still, you know, have, have mercy for us. He still showed us to take a chance, and that's what we need to do as people. Like we need to give each other chances. No matter how many times a person can hurt you, no matter how many times somebody can, you know, disappoint you, you need to give that person a second chance. Because at the end of the day, if we can't forgive each other, how can God it's forgive what? us? Yes, the powerful Almighty God apparently needs you to forgive people so he can learn to forgive people so, so. We have, that is very, very important. Like everybody, you know. And then don't don't get me wrong. You don't have to keep putting up with a person just because you forgive them. You're supposed to forgive and let go, you know. Yes, forgive and let go of all the shady sh that Chris has done on social media. Scamming little kids, scamming his fans recently. Oh, we for real today. Lying to you guys, pretending that he was in a car accident. But I want to tell y'all, be yourself god made you you for a reason god made you unique god made you smart beautiful brilliant he made you like this because he wants you to be yourself he wants you to spread his gospel he wants you to to live he wants you to love we're supposed to love our neighbor like we love ourselves that means we're supposed to love everybody we're supposed to forgive everybody for everything it is good to forgive and move on and not forget and stay distant but it's also important to apologize and own up to the sh that you have done because if you did maybe people won't be consistently pulling it up to your face every time you make a video see if chris was more open and not full of shit and open to his audience about a lot of the things i'm pretty sure people won't be bashing him or always bringing up the past like they do now if he was just actually apologetic for the shit he has done instead of being fake all the time he claims this video is not for views and he doesn't care about that no more but yeah, man, it's, it's a lot, bro. I want y'all to like. This is not even a video for views. I don't even care about that no more. You know, they talk. I don't. I don't. I don't care about that. I just want the people who's actually watching it, listening to it. I want you guys to pray for me as I pray for y'all. You know, because I feel like everybody needs prayer. We all need prayer. We all God's children, so we all can use prayer. So if somebody out there that wants to pray for me, thank you so much. I bet you any money, Chris is in his house going. Dear God, please make Martin fall down some stairs so he can stop making videos about me. Amen. The thing that's really gross about Chris is that every time he's doing bad shady sh he just happens to be talking about God. He did the same thing when he was scamming his fans, talking about God and God is so great, but he was doing fucked up sh Queen was enabling it. So it's just every time when they bring up God, I know it's some bullshit is happening i swear to god surround yourself with because bad company corrupt good deeds so make sure you surrounded by go-getters motivators not no lazy people because i notice i've been hanging around lazy people and i'll become lazy you know god damn did he just expose all his friends <laughs> y'all they haven't uploaded in a while he probably needs to talk about jordan and shit anyway some people decided to give him advice on that youtube video commenting and 
asked your PO for permission. He needed just a few days to go visit. CJ has school and shouldn't be traveling, so he can't just leave. I don't think this girl knows that there's a pandemic and most of the kids are learning through the computer, okay? Virtual learning. Chris Sells can easily do that with CJ. Yeah, he has a computer. He can get CJ's school all up on there, virtual learning or whatever he's doing. What should you do? Corporate with your child's mother and stop posting her business online. Anyway, that's when Chris Sells made his post on Instagram saying, Makes life beautiful. You're my world and my heart. I think about you every day, every second, every minute. I can't wait to be next to you, baby. Damn, if you miss him that much, just actually call him and tell him in person. I haven't spoken to my son in about four months. I haven't even spoken to him on FaceTime. Oh my God! Oh Jesus, oh God! After the backlash, Chris Sells decides to go on IG Live, I believe. Going live and expressing himself again. Or I can't even express my like how i feel without y'all being mean or evil bro y'all keep telling me to go to atl bro if i see one more freaking comments and go to atl i can't go to atl right now i can't leave the state what don't y'all understand about that I don't even blame Queen, bro. Queen is making it seem like, as well as her fans, that she decided to send CJ. Oh, a court hearing, right? I don't know how this information got out because only me and his dad knew. 